I think it was on the line. I see. <laughs> Amazing. Kate Middleton is out here serving some major game. The Princess of Wales went up against tennis legend Roger Federer during a quick match at Wimbledon while highlighting the ball boys and girls at Wimbledon, which is a program for teens to catch balls during tennis tournaments. In the new video, which was posted on Wimbledon's official YouTube channel, Kate was captured hitting the ball back and forth with this superstar athlete and even scored against the eight-time Wimbledon champion. I think it was on the line. I see. <laughs> Amazing. Kate then got some pointers on the process of catching and throwing back a tennis ball during a match from a young teen. Each shoulder width apart and just have your hand down there and then to feed. That's it. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Good catch. Are you allowed to do that? Oh, yeah. Are you allowed to do that? That's In Australia, point. they would catch it, but here in Wimbledon, they don't. Yeah, oh, you're okay. not meant to catch it. You're meant to let it bout and then get it, but good catch. The new video highlighting the ball boys and girls at Wimbledon, which has approximately 250 teens involved, comes just days after Kate and William attended their first Royal Ascot as Prince and Princess of Wales. Access Hollywood recently spoke to DailyMail.com's editor, Charlie Langston, about how the parents of three are taking on bigger roles within the palace. Kate and William understand very much that the future of the monarchy rests almost entirely on their shoulders now and they're really trying to move the royal family forward to show that it isn't this stuffy antiquated concept that you know a number of people believe it to be they're trying to kind of mix royal tradition with royal evolution and they're doing that through things like a YouTube channel, like kind of taking part in more social media activity and things like that. They're trying to show more glimpses at their family life. You know, during kind of quarantine and lockdown, they would offer up little glimpses into what they were doing with their children. And I think the two of them are very much aware that in the modern age, the royal family can no longer just exist in the public eye and hide away everything that goes on behind closed doors. They understand that in the age of social media, people are thirsty for more personal looks into what they're doing, and they're trying to accommodate that need without overstepping the line and sharing too much.